Hey guys, Matt here with Loon Outdoors. Today we're going to be trying to fly a call the Synthesizer Prince. Of course, uh, the world needed once again another Prince nymph. So, in the vise is a Daiichi 1760 hook, and I have a uh, modeled tungsten bead size of choice depending on the sink rate you're looking for. I have a uh, 8 aught brown vivas thread in there. I'm going to start out by taking some uh, some wraps as well with a uh, fine 0.15 non-lead wire and this is just to add further weight to this fly. I feel like uh, it's a bomb fly. It's going to be used as a, like a point fly just to help you get down kind of a larger attractor. So I'll go ahead and uh, we'll take some turns and I just like to wrap over the top of our non-lead wire here. And we're going to wrap down to about the the barb section of this of this hook. It has a nice curve uh, to the hook which I kind of like. And next up we're going to be using some uh, goose biots in brown. Right now I'm just uh, opposing them and equalizing them. I'm going to put them on if you're looking at the front of the fly, kind of at like the 9 and 3 position. Uh, curves facing outward and uh, loose wrap just to get them set in place and then uh, furthering it up with uh, securing wraps there. I'll pick it up to the lead just for uh, consistency of the body, although it doesn't really come into play. It's just a uh, habit of mine from tying uh, you know, stuff like copper johns and, and so forth. So just kind of helps out a bit. Next up I'm going to take some BR uni wire in brown and that's going to be our supporting rib for our fly. It will uh, kind of just make sure everything stays where it's supposed to be. So I'm going to go ahead and use some ice dub in pheasant tail and some STS trilobal dubbing in a golden stone for this. Also some black STS trilobal. Um, and once I blend those all up, it has a really cool kind of uh, big mayfly, small stone fly type color behind it. So we'll go ahead and create a, uh, a dubbing noodle here. And we'll go ahead and work that forward. Uh, starting pretty light in the beginning, uh, narrow, like a thin body. I don't, I don't want too much. And you can kind of work over itself so you can build the body as you want. But you can notice that just all the, uh, the stray fibers and uh, really looks super buggy here. We're going to create a little bit more dubbing noodle here. Not to, uh, you know, I don't want to put too much on in the, at one time. But we'll continue to work up towards the thorax here with this blend. Next we'll counter rib with our wire. Barely shows through but uh, does create some segmentation. Still has a lot of those small buggy fibers popping out. Just working on prepping some Hungarian partridge here for the leg segments. Um, I really like partridge quite a bit. Uh, you can find it dyed in a multitude of colors. This happens to be uh, sunburst yellow. It's kind of bright. Um, doubles as a hot spot, but also legs, in uh, my opinion here. And uh, I just get the feather and primp off all the fluff. And I cut a V out of the tip, so you can see I get 
two leg areas and one soft wrap and then we'll go ahead and snug that down so you kind of get a nice equal legs you're able to uh, pull them out to adjust their length kind of on the fly this way as well and when you're doing this you want to make sure you find uh, kind of an equal feather that both sides sort of look the same um, so a little bit of uh, research in your bag of materials will uh, provide you with that so we just go back uh, over it a little bit more with our dubbing mix just uh, creating a bigger thorax section here um, you know you have a good amount of density to this fly as well so we're going to take some uh, more of our goose biots in brown those will become our prince like wing case and uh, I, the best way to describe how I tie these in is in a lopsided X pattern um, where the crossing points are closer to the butt ends than the tips and I do these with the shiny side up or the curved side up depending on how you look at your biot or how you like to address it or its features and you can see I just have them in this cool X pattern and one quick kind of turn and then they're secure and you have a nice looking wing case I'll trim off any butt ends uh, and do a little bit more securing um, I don't mind having a bunch of thread wraps we're going to cover it up with a little bit of UV ice dub peacock black a little bit more flash and a darker thorax section And this is just a really small dubby noodle. You just get a few wraps out of it, and we can go ahead and whip finish here. Put a lot of pressure on it, make sure it's good. Um, next up, I use the flow. I feel like a lot of the UV ice dub materials um, allow light to pass through them, so I feel like I can cure through them. And we'll go ahead and hit that, set it and forget it, and there you go. Just a fun, buggy, easy to tie pattern. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.